Hey everyone, this is Kevin the Katie Hill Farmer and welcome back to the channel. Today we got an exciting video brought to you guys by Evolution. They sent us out a saw and wanted to do, uh, get my opinion on it and uh, that's what we're going to do. Saw's not been used yet, we're going to kind of break it in uh, together. But uh, I like what I see, I currently have a steel cutoff saw and that's what this is, is the Evolution R300 DCT. Now. I will let you know there will be a link. I believe the link is Katie Hill Farmer. It will be down in the description. And it will give you, I believe, 5% off of the price. And uh, the price of this saw really ain't too bad, uh, considering, uh, like, the steel and so on and so forth. So you're getting a lot of bang for your buck. I believe you can get this saw off their website for... Uh, under $350 I do believe and uh, if you buy the gas can with it or not gas can excuse me but the water can the pump up sprayer that you can use to hook up to this saw is I think it's just a little over 400 bucks for that so but uh, anyhow as you can see I had some camera parts here I've been having some camera issues but we'll get those out of the way but that's what I want to talk to you about. Like I said, this is the Evolution R300 DCT. It is a 12 inch electric cutoff saw and this has the multi-material blade on it. So let's go ahead and get into the features of this thing. Uh, I'm glad to be back. Uh, we've been having uh, just a little bit of stuff going on here and there. Then of course we all got the dreaded virus and all that good stuff. So, But glad to be back. and. Uh, We'll see what we find out with this thing in this video. What you will see is, again, you will get to see this thing cut. Uh, we'll see what all we can cut with it. According to the blade, this thing can cut metal. This thing can cut plastic. This thing can cut everything, pretty much. Tile, whatever, whatever you want to cut with it. it. It should be able to do the job. Uh, we will not be hooking up the water canister, but I will go ahead and show you right here on the saw. This has a quick connect for a hose, as you guys can see there. And that is handy. It also has an on and off switch, but like I said, we'll go over that when we uh, go over the saw here. So without further ado, let's go over the saw. Okay, guys, so here it is. The Evolution R300 DCT. And like I said, this is an affiliated video, so uh, I am not getting paid for it, but I did get the tool for free. And that was my terms and I got to thank them because I am way behind on getting this video out. But uh, anyhow, as you can see, multi-material blade looks like a pretty nice, looks like a pretty uh, standard blade. It looks uh, similar to the one on my steel. Just You also got a dust port here that you can hook the vacuum up to if need be. So that's actually, you know, that can be handy. Also, uh, you do... I believe uh, right here are your brushes. You do have a trigger lock on this thing. Also, all important GFCI out or plug in. If you turn this all around, there is the quick connect on it. So you can quick take that off there, screw that onto your hose. And I wanted to show you right there that they do make a pump up sprayer for this that can screw right into that and so you don't have to have customer's water or you can have a portable water supply depending on where you're at and what you're doing. What I do like about this saw the most is the wheels right here. They're very, I mean, if, if you was cutting a floor, it, it'll just roll right across there. You got your blade lock right here and also you uh, adjustable guard. So you pull that up, as you can see. So if you're cutting straight onto something, you, you know, you'd want it out like that. Uh, it does have, I believe that's a 15 foot cord on it, as you can see right there. Uh, there we go, it's up there. Like I said, everything's still brand new with this saw. I've not cut anything with it. But we're getting ready to. I'll have to get find some hearing protection here. We'll just lay some stuff here in the garage and give it a cut. But again, I'd like to thank Evolution for sponsoring this video. And let's see what this saw will do. Okay, guys, just want to give you a little 
we're going to be cutting into this with the saw, which is a brick. Didn't have any block to cut with it, so uh, I want to try a piece of wood with it. it. Says it'll cut wood. We'll see. I know that my steel blade does not like to. And to end it all, I would say this is probably, eh, that's quarter inch, easy. Quarter inch piece of metal. So I'm going to go ahead and warn you, this is a good time for you to turn your volume down because it is going to get loud. So let me get this thing plugged in, get the camera set up, and we'll go from there. Okay guys, here we go. We're going to start with the brick first. See how it goes, like I said. Make sure you turn your volume down. Because this is probably going to get pretty loud. I got my hearing protection in. We'll go ahead and, I don't want to hook the hose up or nothing. But I'll go ahead and spray, sprinkle a little water on that. Try to keep the dust down. Like I said, this is my first time trying it. So let's give it a whirl and see what happens. impressions man that thing went through there quick <laughs> this is a little bit uh, I think a in my opinion a brick is a little bit harder than a block so you know I, I think using a brick's a little bit better in my opinion but I'm going to put a little water on this thing. I don't have nobody to give me a hand today. And I really don't want to dust up my garage and it's kind of raining outside, so. And there you have it. I hope none of that got on my camera lens, but man, that is smooth. Whew. Uh, new blade, but I can tell you that thing ate through that like pretty, pretty good. Pretty impressive. So you can see pretty smooth right there. Well, let's go to the two by six. We'll save the metal for last. This is probably going to be a lot more noisier. Well, it went through it better than what I thought it would. I mean, I knew it would go through it, but I didn't think it would go through it that good. Again, <laughs> you guys can see. Now here is the real test. This ought to take some of the shiny off the blade. That's a pretty heavy piece of steel. So let's see what it'll do. What I do like about this though, it is kind of it's pretty light. It's uh, it's a good ways through it so far. We'll go ahead and finish cutting it. Just so I'll point out, 
and I know somebody will in the comments. The gas cans are empty. They don't have none. We've just been without power for, I don't know, three days, I think, because the storm come through. But uh, I will say it's really not hurt the blade that much. So I'm kind of impressed on that because usually metal will take it right out of the blade. Well, let's keep cutting on this. There you have it. I think she done pretty good. Also, go ahead and unplug it there, which it does have the trigger lock, so you shouldn't have to worry about any of that. But, okay guys, as you can just see, we just took the Evolution R300, DCT 12 inch electrical cutoff saw, and we went through metal, we went through wood, and we went through brick. I don't think block would be an issue for it. I don't think concrete would be an issue for it. The blade, go ahead and drag it up here. The blade still has a lot on it. I don't see it needing another one. I mean, like I said, we just, the metal is the hardest thing on these blades. In all reality, I, I think you should use a dedicated metal blade to for it. But uh, like I said, I want to put it to the test. Uh, when, when you do cut block, in which I tried it, it never worked. What I was kind of hoping when I was cutting that brick is I could screw this right up to it, just a water bottle, because you ain't cutting that much. You know, you give it a couple of squirts, it, excuse me, that would uh, be great. But anyhow, there you have it, the Evolution R300 DCT 12 inch electric cutoff saw with a diamond blade uh i like it it's a lot lighter than the steel it's not as loud as the steel so it does have that and also like i said you can buy that i believe it's a two gallon pump up sprayer with it i uh, may have to you know talk to them and see if we can get one of those sprayers and, and check it out and see what it does but uh i gotta say i do like it they do have fast shipping also guys so don't be afraid to go check them out like i said i'll leave a link in the description below you guys can go check it out like i said use uh let me make sure i got this code right for you but it is katie hill farmer and it's katie hill farmer all one word and you get five percent off the whole website so use that code and hopefully uh like I said, they got more than just this on their website. They got the table cutoff saws. You know, if you're working with metal or what have you, they have, uh, which I have one over there. I should have got it out, but it's buried right now because we're getting ready to pour concrete in the garage. But it is the metal circular saw with a metal blade. Again, we put that thing through some abuse. You can go back and watch the videos of that. But uh, anyhow, guys, thanks for watching and look forward to more. Uh, videos coming out on the channel. We'll see you.